What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay May, back checking in with the people. And I'm back with my final E3 2017 prediction video. Xbox, let's get it. I won't be doing a prediction video for EA, um, Ubisoft, Bethesda, but I will have conference reactions on my channel post-conference when those do go live. Um, I just don't really feel like it's necessary to do predictions for those. There's a few games on those you know, conferences that I am looking forward to, but not enough to, you know, warrant a, a conference predictions for me, but maybe in the future. Today, we're going to do Xbox. Now, for starters, I mean, how can we not expect Microsoft to come out the gate with the Project Scorpio? I do think that they're going to show the Project Scorpio first, reveal the name. Um, I like the name Xbox One X that has been floating around. I like it because like the acronym for that is XBOX. If you kind of want to, you know, go with the XBO for Xbox One and then X as the console name. I like that. If they want to go with that, that's pretty cool. I've heard Xbox Prime. I don't know how I feel too much about that, but I like Xbox One X. I do believe it's going to launch this. I'm going to say November. Um, a lot of people think it's going to be October. Their Shadow of War was recently delayed till October, so... They got the marketing rights for that game, so maybe it aligns with Scorpio. I don't know, but if I had to guess, I'm thinking like mid-November, maybe around when the original Xbox launched, like that month and date. So with that being said, we got to talk about the price. Now, Phil Spencer has previously stated that this is a premium console. Um, some people say he's done went back on those words, and you know, he also said that this won't be priced out of the ordinary but it is something that people can look at to being, you know, that high-end console. I mean, and based on the specs, it exactly is that. It's going to be the most powerful console on the market, um, doing things better than the PS4 Pro, not just from the CPU and the GPU level. It's just everything about that system is fine-tuned, and they didn't cut any corners with that. So with that being said, I'm actually thinking that Microsoft is going to do the fans justice and even if it means that they're taking a hit with this price, I think they're going to launch this thing at $399. Now, call me crazy because we hear all the time that people think it's going to be some high-end price. They're not stupid. Anything above $500 is suicide. They're, I mean, even though they don't expect this console to sell as much, you don't want to go too high. That's just going to be too crazy, and you're going to price yourself way out of the market, even for a quote-unquote premium console. So $399, I think it's going to be the uh, launch price. And I do think they're going to have a higher terabyte bundle, maybe north of $399, maybe $449, or even $499, depending on how big the quantity goes. Um, so yeah, Scorpio, $399. I'm predicting that right now. Moving on, uh, I do believe that all the game trailers that they show when it comes to gameplay will be on Scorpio or at least they're going to show some type of comparison within the um, press conference where they show an original Xbox One game and then a Scorpio um, version. That way people can see the difference. We already find out that these conferences are going to be running at 4K, um, Ultra HD, whatever you want to call it. These conferences are going to showcase on the streams how these games can really look if you have a display, of course, capable enough to display the streams at 4K. So that's dope, and I think what's better way to utilize those 4K streams than to show the games running on Scorpio with the high fidelity graphics, textures, all that other great stuff that you're going to be able to get with the Project Scorpio. Um, I do think they're going to show a trailer for Crackdown 3 with a release date for 2017. Um, this is a, a one that I wasn't too comfortable with predicting for 2017 because, again, we still haven't seen much from Crackdown 3. We got a few gameplay couple minutes of gameplay uh, a few years ago and ever since then it's been kind of out of sight and it wasn't until really this year that they've been talking about you know e3 they're going to be on the stage showing this game off so i think since they're going to bring it this year at e3 i think they're going to want to come with a release date and a lot of times when it comes to first party games microsoft likes to um i mean for the most part they like to show a game and release it in that same year i mean you got some instances where things get delayed canceled and, you know, sh stuff like that happens. So you can't really, um, you know, you can fault them for that, but it's not the ordinary, like the normal for them. Usually, if they show a game at E3, it's releasing that year. I mean, they did it with Gears. I think they did it with Halo, uh, Dead Rising. 
Um, Recore was one that extended past that, but we, like when you see gameplay for these games, usually they're releasing it that year. Um, moving on, I will predict that State of Decay will get a trailer for that. State of Decay 2. Even the developers talked about, you know, they're going to be at E3. So this isn't, this really isn't a big prediction. It's just I think they're going to be at E3. And I do think this game is coming out this year. So we'll get a gameplay trailer for that. Um, we'll get a gameplay trailer for Sea of Thieves. Um, and I do... A lot of people think this game isn't coming out this year. But I, I kind of think it is. Um, it's really focused on multiplayer. And I don't think it has too much of a narrative to it. So most of the time, it's just going to be... Um, focusing on making sure that the competitive aspect of the game is fine and that people have many reasons to come back and play it. So I think this game can come out this year. I also think they're going to do a beta for this game that's probably going to launch sometime in the summer, maybe like August or something like that. So that would be pretty dope. Um, it's been in alpha for a while now. So I think opening up a beta will get more people into the game and that way word can spread about how the game is. If they um, if it's good, if it's bad, whatever it, whatever it is. But I do think it's going to still come out this year. Maybe November-ish, October, November-ish. I can see this game coming out. Forza. Um, every year since I believe Forza has been around along with Her Forza Horizon, I think we've been getting a Forza game every single year. Last year was Forza Horizon 3, a great game. It was critically acclaimed. It sold pretty well. Um, this time it's Motorsports' turn. I think we're going to get Forza Motorsports 7. Trailer for that, Scorpio, 4K60, all that jazz. Um, we're going to see that on stage at E3 with a release date for this year, November. Um, next up, 343. They said they're going to be at E3. Um, they've already shot down rumors of another Halo coming this year, or at least being shown this year. They shot down rumors of Halo 3 Anniversary. So it seems as if everything Halo is getting shot down from 343 right now. And... That leads me to believe that 343 is going to come to E3 with a new IP. 343 is going to come with a new IP. It might just be CGI, and it might be something they've been working on since Halo 5, but I think they're going to show a, a new IP that's supposed to come out next year. And Because they have a big team, you know? They have like 500 plus people, I believe it is. So it wouldn't, you know, be a shocker to me that maybe some of, the, some of that team went on to start a new IP after Halo, and then now it's like all hands on deck with that, and they're going to get that game finished and ready for next year, and I think they're going to show it this year at E3. Um, in addition to a new IP from 343, I do think Microsoft is going to come with one or two new IPs, whether it be from a first-party studio that's um, brand new, or a third-party studio that they got an exclusive deal with to make an IP for them. So I, I don't expect... Too many new first party IPs because a lot of them are tied up doing other things, but it's been three years. Phil Spencer has been there. Um, and that's it's time for him to show what he's been working on as far as first party studios or even third party exclusives. Now, maybe they don't want to go to route of third party exclusives, and I would understand that because you have to rely more on the develop developers who are not in house to work on something, and things can go crazy because maybe they're working on multiple things. Whereas first party studios, you can you're paying them to focus on that one project, if not sometimes two, depending on the size. So I do think we're going to see some new first-party studios from Microsoft and one or two new exclusives, whether it be first-party or third-party. Um, I got an Xbox One S price drop. I think that's kind of a given. I think we're going to see those base consoles come down even further, maybe try and get them to $199 for the holiday season. But I think the base MSRP is going to be like $249 for those. Um... I also think that the OG Xbox games are going to come to backwards compatibility. I don't know how tough the technical side of that will be, but I do think it's something that Microsoft is trying to do with the whole Xbox ecosystem, where you, wherever you have an Xbox, you can play every Xbox game that ever existed on your you know, newest hardware. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think they want to try and you know, kind of brush that Xbox backwards compatibility to the side. And just say, hey, we gave them 360, and that's good enough. I think they're going to try their hardest to get that Xbox OG Xbox backwards compatible going um, for the fans. And I think that would be pretty cool. Like, I'm not a big fan of backwards compatibility, but it's a great feature, and you can't deny it. You know what I'm saying? People like to go back and play old games. I mean, it is what it is. It's a great feature. So I do think we'll see that. Um, Assassin's Creed Origins, I think this is one of their 
third party marketing deals that they have. And it's the new Assassin's Creed is set in Egypt. I think that'll be displayed on stage um, running on Scorpio. I can see that maybe DLC first on Xbox, um, something like that, that, you know, helps promote and maybe gets people to buy the game on Xbox. You know, typical third party deal stuff. Um, I also think a Splinter Cell, we'll see a Splinter Cell trailer coming to, um, not exclusive to Xbox, but maybe another, you know, DLC first on Xbox or some type of marketing deal where they'll get things first and heavily promoted for Scorpio and stuff like that. Um, Splinter Cell coming back. I've been hearing some things about Splinter Cell that some people feel like it's uh, in the works, but we'll have to wait and see. But I do think it's going to show up on Xbox's stage. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much... Oh, one other thing. I think they're going to come with a new Xbox Elite controller. Um, Phil Spencer has been one who has been talking about instead of focusing on third-party deals, maybe focusing more on hardware and get accessories like improving that aspect um we saw the elite controller before they even got the, the program where you can design the color of your controller and stuff like that they like they they he feels like they need to focus more on the first i would say the first party hardware aspect of the company and providing xbox fans with more features and accessories to um go with the whole ecosystem of xbox so maybe they do a new xbox elite controller or some type of accessory they're going to bring to xbox that you know is top of the line top notch um because they you know spent the research and development time into this product but yeah that's pretty much what i got for xbox e3 predictions um i'm hoping to see a lot i hope it's not just scorpio games uh that we already know about we're looking better because that's cool and stuff but i'm hoping to be surprised by a couple new ips a couple you know, off the wall predictions, maybe some games that'll blow your damn mind um, when you see it on top of being ran on Scorpio, because that, that'll just make everything better. Um, they've been killing it when it comes to the features, so maybe they'll come with something to add to the Xbox Game Pass or the Xbox Play Anywhere. Speaking of Play Anywhere, I'm hoping that anything they announce going forward is for Play Anywhere, because right now it's kind of up in the air. It's a lot of going back and forth about what that's about but that's my predictions let me know down in the comment section what you guys think you'll see from xbox e3 conference um i'll probably be going live either with press start or you know by myself um live reactions with these the big three playstation xbox maybe nintendo i might be at work but we'll see but again like the video subscribe if you're new here and i check y'all out in my next video peace